Daniel has come to judgment. Today is a great day for Nigeria. The Nigerian judiciary had proved itself to be the guardians for justice and fairness against the sirens of deception. It's a battle between the will of the people and the forces of misinformation and disinformation. But democracy has finally triumphed. Like the bird phoenix rises from the ashes, resolute and unyielding. And in this age of information, discernment is our greatest armor and unity. It's our strongest force. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, in this battle for the survival of the nation, in this grand symphony of democracy, your voice, your vote, is a note that cannot be silent. But even in this our moment of triumph, we are not going to be triumphant. We'll work for the unity of this nation. Democracy, as you all know, is not a destination but a journey. It tests us, it tests our resolve, our intent, our commitment to be the custodians of the will of the people. My principal, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, is eternally indebted to the Nigerian people and to the leadership of the party who have been here since 9 a.m our governors, our energetic chairman and national secretary of the party, members of the National Assembly. They have been here, ministers. So words cannot adequately convey our depth of gratitude to the Nigerian people. My principal will issue a formal statement, but I we feel compelled to talk to you having spent nearly 14, 15 hours in these chambers. There is the dignity of every person that we need to honor and cherish. I want to thank you. The journey is just beginning. I want to call on Nigerians. Let's unite. What binds us together surpasses whatever that divides us. Let's unite as a people and face our common challenges. As I have always said, the trajectory of global growth is facing Africa and Nigeria. The greatest black nation on earth will make or mark that transition. We have had a very long day, but a very good day. My principal is extremely elated, and he asked me to convey his gratitude to our leaders and to the Nigerian people, and to the Nigerian media who have been here all day long. The journey is just beginning. I wish you a wonderful night, press. I will allow our boss, you know, the national chairman of the party is the boss of bosses. So I will allow you to interrogate Your him Excellency, a little. you still retire political um, terrorists to cry, as I said during your campaign? No, yes. <laughs> you know, you know we, are, we, have, we have moved beyond the pace of politics. Now we are in the pace of governance. Yeah. Atiku Abubakar is an elder statesman <laughs> that I hold in very high esteem. Anybody who knows the sociocultural interaction between the Fulanis and the Kanuris in the north will know that I have the liberty to hold all insults at him and he will strike a Libya. We are not going to retire him to Dubai or Morocco. I will retire him to Pombina. I will buy him goats 
broilers and layers so that he can spend his days rearing cows and broilers. But it's an elder statement that I always is on a joking side, on a more serious note. It's an elder statesman. The nation needs him. Experience is not something that you can buy in the marketplace. We'll tap into his wealth of experience and exposure to catapult the nation to a higher pedestal. Politics is over. Governance is now imposed him. For all that I might have offended by my utterances, I'm sorry, but politics is a game of nerves, not of emotions. Politics, you have to throw jibes. Thank you very much.